This is the city, Los Angeles, California. Geographically, the biggest in the world. And still growing. Construction of new buildings and skyscrapers is a constant. But nestled among the modern sleek glass and metal towers, there are a few historical gems, like the 7th Street Office Building, built in 1913 by the Standard Building Company for developer B.D. Bronson. The Bronson Building stood virtually empty until 1915, when it was leased to the Brack Shops, as memorialized in brass letters on the sidewalk out front. Today is home to some of the oldest operating elevators in the city. Let's go inside and take a look. And then this ceiling is a replica of a historic ceiling two blocks away at another building. And back in 2015, I saw this guy hanging sections of that ceiling. I'm like, oh my god, you're redoing it. He's like, yeah. So I brought him here and he put that in. So it's open. We cut out the opening in the elevator and put those grills in to give you better ventilation. Uh, they match the style. And then the, that's a different floor. Giving a tour is my favorite thing to do. So, um, on the super heavy. On the flip side is all these contacts. So when you, when the elevator operator would squeeze the handle to close the door, you hear this pack, 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 and then he'd move the lever to the right, and the elevator would take up, clack, 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 different speeds, clack, clack, clack. I've actually been on one. What was special about this was it was upgraded, I think, in the '40s, uh -huh. where when you're driving it. You go a little bit, slow speed. Halfway, medium speed. All the way, high speed. So if you're flying up the shaft high speed and you let go on the seventh floor and the, and the handle returns back to the middle, the car will slow down and level and stop and the doors will open automatically. Pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the elevator machine room. Do you want to see the elevator machine room? Sure. I can. You okay? I, I can do it. Just hang on to your yeah. handle. Oh. Wow. These 
these three platforms had a generator on them for each elevator. Oh, these used to be Westinghouse. Yes. And then over here, obviously, don't get too close. Yeah. Original. Oh, wow. Original so motors. This is the motor that pulls the elevator up. The ropes are hidden behind here. So this is the original, and yes. you put the new machine in it. This is the new machine. Yes. This is called the controller. Yes. Controller. And how do you find that? Click, 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 click. Yes, but less these days. This is a transformer, so you have high power. The high power comes in here and lowers it down to low voltage. So that's the controller. That's really cool. Yeah. It's nice to have brand new elevators because those old ones, man, they broke down all the time. Oh, I bet. Brand new elevators, there's always entrapments also. Yeah, they're harder to escape. You have to wait like an hour for like uh, Right. Look at these old switches here. Oh. That's from 1912, 1913. 1913. Okay. Just wait for that one to leave. Perfect. It's gone? Yes. Oh, it's here. It's here. It came. Oh, wow. That is cool. Ventilation. Oh, I get why you like it now. It's brass. Yeah. And what I told you, the elevator is modern, uh, manually operated. Yeah. Dark red carpet on these walls. Wow. Yeah. So you just ripped this off and it was wood under. No, I ripped it off and put this in. Oh. Well, what was underneath? It was just plywood. Oh. It was bizarre. The elevators. I'm really